Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the laws of Kashyas of Rabbi Yom enforced, and he writes like this today as we're speaking about the mitzvah of Tevilas Kalim, immersing one's vessels in the mikvah when they are new, or even if they are old and they are used, bef- that were owned by a non Jew beforehand or purchased from a non Jew, which really just to make things clear, basically any utensil that you buy from the store today. Unless you know for sure that it was owned and made by a Jew, is going to require Tevilas Kalim to go to the mikvah. And he writes like this There are halachic authorities that render the mitzvah of immersing your vessels in the mikvah as only a Midrabban and rabbinical prohibition. They are Joshua Shidashu Aleha in Ela Asmachta. And this, that we make a drasha, like we said yesterday from the verses, it's only an asmachta. An asmachta means over here that we're just using that verse in a rabbinical way to teach us something. Mikomokam, nevertheless, das reva paiskim, the majority of most of the Allah authorities, including Rashi and the Rambam and others, they are hold that shetevilas kelim him minatayra, that really there is a Torah obligation to toivo, to bring your kelim to the mikvah and immerse them in there. And that's the way that we go, that's the prevailing opinion, that this is a mitzvah de araisa, a positive commandment from the Torah, to make sure that a person immerses, to take the kelim, the vessels from the tumah of the non-Jew, and bring it into the kedusha of Klal Yisrael. And therefore, it is prohibited, you're not allowed to use a vessel before it was brought to the mikvah. Even if you're just using it like temporarily. And this is a, a big misnomer. I've heard this many, many times over the years. People buy new pots and pans or they buy new uh, kalim, new vessels and utensils and the like. And they're too lazy to go to the mikvah. They didn't make it there on time. And now they're having some kind of a meal at their house, and they wanted to use these salad tongs to be able to serve the, the salad at the, at the party. So they say, well, I didn't have a chance yet to go toivel it, I'm only using it once now, and therefore it's okay. He says, of course, no, it's not okay. Everything that requires tevila needs to be toivel, needs to be brought to the mikvah before you use it, even for the first time. Ulam But this prohibition even if you hold that the toiveling of, of dishes and the like is, a, is an obligation on a derais, on a Torah level, this that you transgressed is only midraban and rabbinical. And therefore the food, if let's say food was cooked in a pot or a pan that was not yet toiveled, and you only plan on really using it for this one time or so, it does not aser, it doesn't make the food aser for you to eat. You'd still be allowed to eat the food. And that's why if you bought new vessels and they're still in the box and they're in the house, you're actually allowed to leave them there even without being titled them. We're not really concerned that you're going to open up the box and start using them. And therefore, it's the obligation to title them is an obligation that is there. But you don't have to go out of your way right now and bring them to the mikvah and toivel them. You can leave them in the box in the house. However, it's all on condition that you are planning to go and toivel them at the right time. What if you have a very large uh, pot or a pan and it's impossible to put into the mikvah? A kavd or it's very heavy, you can't even pick it up. Nevertheless, says our force. Don't think that there's a hint that there's a leniency not to be toivel them. You still have to. Let's say you didn't realize this, and you use this gigantic industrial-sized pot a hundred times already, bleed tevila, and you never would toivel it. A dying chayve tevila, you're still obligated to toivel it. And now that you understand what Allah is, you're not going to be allowed to use it. And he says, take a look later on. We'll see many, many uh, paragraphs in the future, what's going to be with your electric, um, your electric uh, um, utensils and the like, for example, the hot water heater, 
an electric knife, a blender, and, and so on and so forth. How are you told all those? We'll see what he has to say. We have a whole mahalach, a whole way to deal with that as well. Have a wonderful day.